Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to boot uh, from a DVD ISO image. In this case, it's a Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 9. I'm going to um, boot it off of a DVD ISO image. But before I do that one, um, last time I showed you how to uh, boot uh, from a uh, Linux uh, server. If, in case you have an issue, you could just um, uh, boot it into a bash prompt. Um, which is a pound sign, and then you can uh, just fix whatever you want to fix. So um, on the uh, website, on the, my YouTube channel, my Web University for Education videos, uh, the channel that I have, I have already put that video for uh, uh, booting into a bash prompt, which is a pound sign, and then uh, that one, you can watch it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boot it uh, into a DVD image, uh, ISO image. So uh, this is the uh, DVD ISO image and one. So let's do that one. In order to do that one, I have to first uh, check on my uh, virtual machine. And the virtual box environment, I have a, a virtual machine called Algorithm. And as you can see, it's a Red Hat 64-bit. Uh, Enterprise Linux uh, version. So I'm going to go under the setting to see the current setting under the system. You can see it is uh, the boot order is hard disk, optical, floppy, and network. But hard disk and optical, which is the DVD optical, that, that one is selected. However, the order is hard disk. If I just currently boot it, it's going to go uh, to the hard disk and it, if it finds the boot uh, image and there it will boot it up. But I need to just take this one off. In order to do that one, I'm going to check on this arrow down. Now the uh, optical is the primary uh, one selected and the boot order is gonna look at the DVD. In addition, when you choose the optical, you have to mount the ISO image under the storage, under the um, controller IDE in this case, uh, the DVD. This is uh, selected already. If you just click on it, you can see that I have uh, put that uh, into this location and it is mounted already in there. So if I just say okay on this one, that is the right uh, option and I just click on the start button, it's going to boot uh, this uh, uh, virtual machine into a DVD image. This uh, information notification, I'm going to check it out here so I can see the entire screen. And um, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1 is currently selected. I have option of um, installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 or test the media or troubleshoot. So in this case, I'm gonna go with troubleshooting. When you go to troubleshooting, you get a sub menu of install Red Hat or rescue um, uh, a Red Hat Enterprise Linux or run memory a test and boot from a local drive or a return to a main menu. But in this case, as you can see, as I just go up and down with uh, arrows, I see the option that I select is showing in white color. So the rescue is selected and I'm going to go to rescue mode. On this one also, you see this notification, which I'm gonna just take it out. And then uh, right here, it is gonna prompt me to a, a subshell on the a rescue mode. And then the uh, option that are uh, there by default is going to be uh, showing you with a menu. And uh, number one, to continue. Number two, to read only mount. Number three, to skip to shell. At this time, it's like uh, going to the shell and uh, running some commands. So I'm going to type in three. And now I'm at, uh, pressing enter. I'm going to be at the shell. Clear this uh, screen here. And then pwd df-h and then a uname dash a. So the ISO image is available for me to do whatever I want to do with the ISO. At this time, I don't need anything. I'm going to say system and CTL power off. Uh, so power off is not recognized here. So let's see if I could just say power off here. Yeah, it will power off by the command. System CTL did not understand uh, the told it, but power off command was understood. So and that is why I was at the bash prompt. 
and then power off now i have a start menu again if i want to do it and then in order for me to boot it back to the red hat uh, let's say i fixed the problem whatever the issue was there i'm going to get, uh, come back on the system this time i take the optical uh, out and then on the hard disk i'm going to select hard disk here move this one up in the order and these other ones whether selected or not selected doesn't matter it, it even has option that you can boot from the network if you have the you know, ISO image and the network or the kickstart server, you can just boot it up from that one. But hard disk here is the option that I want to do enable here. And then I have to select OK here to just boot it. And then now I can boot it off of my um, prompt of um, main uh, hard disk. Since this uh, disk, uh, since this machine is uh, Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux version 9, and now it is going to boot it. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to show you how you can mount uh, the server into um, a Red Hat Enterprise uh, uh, version here, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 by using a DVD. So that is, was it. And then I could just open a terminal here just to show you a few commands you named dash a cat if you see red hat dash release cat if you see os dash release so all the details are there okay i'm gonna just say power off here again i could do power off here or before i power off i need to sync a few times so make sure that all the changes are done then do a power off uh, or I could just do a shutdown uh, minus H uh, now or something, but I'd rather do it through uh, this. So I'm going to just exit out of this. And then the virtual machine has something that it says log out first. So I log out from user ID uh, that I logged in. Now I'm not logged uh, in. This is a much safer uh, place to be. So at this time I say, go ahead, um, power it off. And this time, if I power it off, it's going to just take me back to the virtual machine after this machine is powered off and it says, this is power off. Thanks for watching. Please make sure that you go to our channel, uh, like and subscribe to our channel and watch whatever you like, whether it's um, Linux, Unix, um, Windows, operating systems, Mac, or anything um, that I have a lot of videos on Python programming, show scripting, bash, uh, C, C++, and name it. There's a lot of videos. Uh, please uh, subscribe and enjoy uh, watching it for free. Subscription is also on uh, YouTube is always free. And so you're welcome to watch and then get the college level um, or work level uh, educations that you need for your work or school um, at my Web University free education videos. Take care. God bless you all. Bye.